Hey, what's going on, guys? Today it's Tuba Player Native AE, and uh, we're playing Vagante, a game that I play a lot. Uh, and there is a new version out today, and this is a big one. Uh, this is a huge one, actually. Um, what am I gonna do? What night? It's been a while since I've actually like picked night. Um, I think Survivor Night sounds really cool. Uh, because you have a lot of health, and uh, being able to restore a little bit more in between levels might be a good idea. And I like uh, this night, I think, the best uh, right now. I don't know. Let's be girl night. It's been a while. So they, he added a bunch of stuff. So the he added a fourth level, uh, which is crazy because the catacombs is so hard already. Uh, but uh, I imagine that that's going to get a little bit easier, maybe. Either that or it's just going to be that difficulty or harder. And earlier, I'll probably edit this in right now, uh, I got to the fourth level, uh, but I wasn't recording, I was doing like practice runs so I could show you guys how to get to the fourth level. Um, <clears throat> you just have to get past the catacombs, but I knew I wasn't going to do that on camera. Uh, so I have a video right about here. Hopefully um, that showed a little bit about... But it, I didn't re do, really do much. I just got there, encountered a boss, and then immediately died. Uh, but um, it looks really cool. It looks super cool. I was super impressed. Now the question is, is like, is that going to be an area? See, like, okay. I'm confused on to what you do in Vagante, right? Because the way that I've always played it is the first three levels uh, are easy levels. So you defeat everything that you possibly can see. Uh, and you gain XP from it, right? If you defeat the boss, you get a whole level, right? And then you're done with the level as soon as you defeat the boss. The only reason you would defeat enemies on this level... He's just gonna kill himself. The only reason you would defeat enemies is if you were not going to defeat the boss, and then next level you would level up because of the... Actually, I don't even want him to do that, because I want that chest up there. I was gonna let him kill himself, but, uh... I want that chest over there. I want this chest. I want this chest. I want this chest. I want this chest. There we go. Uh, peasant shoes. I don't know if I want those either. <clears throat> Okay, so what do we have? Death protection is something that we'd seriously consider even killing the shopkeeper for. Ah, uh, but that means I'm going to have to go through and deal with the shopkeeper again. Um, do I have to go down there? I do. Hey, what's going on? Why don't you come down here? Why did you jump? Why don't you just fall? When it made more logical for you to just fall. I guess he got the drop on me, but still. Steel. So night is pretty cool because um How much strength do we have? Jesus lord. Oh, uh, this gives us a strength. Oh good. So there he is. dead. We do so much damage. It's been so long since I've been night. They must have buffed him. Oh no, I have char- oh, I have the charge. Oh, uh, that's why. I didn't even see charge up extra damage by walking. That's why. Can you get up here? Thank you. Gonna do this. Bump. Bump. Oh, crap. That was bad. Bad idea. Get down. Hit him. Go back up. Hit him. Go back up. Hit him. Go back up. Hit him. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, so like, the way that I've always played back to the point that I frame rate drop. I hate that. Stop doing that. Fix that. That's a thing that's happened ever since the game started. Okay. 
So, um, the way that I always play is I kill everything on this floor. You don't even need to kill anything on this floor as long as you kill the bosses. And then you, um, all you gotta, all you gotta do for the forest is kill as many enemies as you can because you're not fighting bosses. You're fighting all the enemies because you can't fight the bosses. And then in the catacomb, well, you mean you can? It's just it's less beneficial to you if you fight the boss because by then you've already finished a tree right you're pretty pretty much I can't think of a single tree that's ended what do we go in night by the way holy I usually just go holy because um, there's no falling damage you get to re resurrect it's all really good <clears throat> and is that enough for the death protection amulet I think it is okay let's go get the spell book real quick so I've heard now that in this patch, they, all the spells have increased uh, abilities, right? So... <clears throat> I like, I really want to learn this one, but Book of Portal has just been inherently bad. It's just been inherently bad, like, ever since it first, first, first started. Book of Portal has been so terrible. I mean... Like, what are you going to use it for? You have you have to use it for an area that you've already been, right? So, like, there's no reason to take it into... That's dumb. I'm going to buy this. Get another luck. There's no reason to do it. There's no reason to learn it. And then instead, gain 10 health from it. Uh, which is, in my opinion, way more valuable than being able to teleport to a place that you've already been. Unless you somehow, like, used it to the point where um, you would have to somehow use it there's probably an invisible wall that I'm missing somewhere but I don't care enough we're gonna definitely heal um, by the way when we get all the way over here we get unbounded sight in the next level which is cool yeah unless you were using it to like kill a boss or something or kill like golem boss it's minus strength it's not something I want uh, what is this? Cursed Speed Poison. Spirit Emitter. I mean, it's not bad. Identify. That's Uncurse. There we go. And, uh, I don't know, even know if we need it. It does 1 to 3 damage. This is 2 to 5 damage. So I'm definitely going to keep the sword instead of that. Uh, we're going to heal up. Lose one of those. Identify identify okay <clears throat> so we're gonna take this and then leave be on our way have unbounded sight upgrade holy so we get the new weapon attack increases our damage a little bit um hello you come over here please thank you What is this book? Book of Blink is a little bit better than Book of, um... It's almost worth learning. I don't know how much damage we're going to take from Dragon Boss, though. So, like, with, with the Catacombs being the way it is, right? Like, you just run past everything. You stuck, Dragon? Come on over here. Uh, I don't know how the fourth level is going to be, and I've only been there once, like I said. Walk a little bit, do a little bit more damage. F me. F me. F me! Just go down! Fine, go in the water. Why am I up here? So, uh, you may notice something, um, that I can now pick up piranhas, and I don't know if I could do that before. I don't ever remember doing it. Ooh, hoo, 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 Masterwork glad, glass frickin' blade sounds really good right about now, and it's faster attack speed with 1 to 6 damage. <sighs> and it has a strength stat on top of that. And uh, what is blue? What is blue currently? Featherfall? 
Um, okay, we already knew that. We identified that earlier. So you can now bring um, piranha plants into, if you're still watching, uh, into the freaking fireplace and cook them. So don't let me forget. I'm going to freaking remember to do that. Uh, also, wands can no longer be a cell talk of vitality. That sounds awesome. Wands can no longer be used or found in chests, which is dumb to me. They've done this thing where they've increased all the spell um, things in the game, but they've what they've done instead is... Thank you for exploding. What they've done instead is... Uh, taken all the wands out of all the boss chests, which, although cool, are n is not very cool. <laughs> we got pork chops right there, which is super helpful. Um, you know, I don't know what piranhas do yet, and I know what chicken does. Uh, so I'm gonna not take. I'm gonna not take chicken with me. I'm gonna take piranha with me instead. I have feather fall still on me. There we go. Thank Lord for those pork chops, though. I'm gonna look for the exit. Look for the exit, and then we're gonna take Piranha in and see what Piranha does, because I honestly have no idea. Uh, I never, like, I always forget about bringing stuff in. So now that it's in my mind, hopefully. Hello. Am I actually doing that much damage? We need more strength, if, if at all possible. I think once we finish Holy. Uh, Wand of Chaos. Wand of Chaos is a dangerous thing. I just paid, I just paid scroll or thing of light my money, which is cool and all. Yeah, just come, come up. Okay. So many chickens. Jesus Lord, the game is being very generous with their and a fairy. I guess it is second area, right? This mother effer. There we go. I killed him before he even grabbed anything. Chicken, you're dying because... Okay, so there's the exit. That was a skillful dodge if I do say so myself. This is probably a mimic chest. No? What's inside? A short bow. <clears throat> we do need a bow, so... And of course it's cursed. Magic mapping. We have three magic mappers? Good thing it's not, like, crazy bad. Gives me two luck. In fact, I'd, I'd equip that anyways. Even if it wasn't cursed. See, cursed is less of a bad thing, and it's more of like a... It's more like a, I don't know, like a hindrance, like, oh, well, I just wanted to see what that was, and now it's not there. Oh, wow. This is going to take some. Okay. This is going to take some work. Cause I want this piranha. Right? But I don't wanna Okay. Well I guess I'm not getting getting the piranha because it's too high up the ladder. And I don't wanna spend all episode trying to get this piranha freaking all the way up the freaking ladder. So that is okay with me. All right, and uh, the light's gonna heal us all the way, which is I'm I'm actually perfectly fine with. Uh, fairy's gonna give us a vitality point, which I'm not fine with. Uh, but what are you gonna do? Uh, vitality point is something that I would not necessarily like. Can I just? I wonder if there's a way to toss fairy. Right, toss fairy into um, in like past the fire, then take fairy onto the next level with you. That would be very interesting because like the darkness only appears on like the third level, and I, the fairy doesn't appear on the third level. 
So in order to get the bonuses, you might need to take very past that. Look at how many enemies there are. Um, Jesus Lord. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's possible or if that's a thing. I should try one episode. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Can you come over here? I hate Gorgonize. They're so dumb. Good. No. Perfect. Okay. Um. Magic mapping. Uh, bomb. Ring of Cell Talk we already have. I'm really tempted. Let's just buy the magic mapping. We're gonna get a lot of money on this floor anyway. Um. Come on up. Come on up. So I feel like, um, can you come over here? Thank you. So I feel like, uh, wasting a little bit money on magic mapping is Ma mouse. Are you serious? Mouse, 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 mouse. I see you there. Okay. Well, we're not killing that worm. We're killing this worm because this worm's a jerk. Are you kidding me? See? Look how jerkish that worm was. And we can see where enemies are, so it's basically like having magic mapping all the time. Eloquence is that one spell, right? The electricity spell. Yeah, so, I mean, like... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing with mage. Because they buffed mage and then at the, in the same patch they nerfed mage by getting rid of all the wands and all the chests. So now you have this like... Thing where, yeah sure, a majority of the spells are better, but... Are they? Because now there's no wands. And that, all he's done with that is... Make it so you have less options. However, I mean... Oof. Because, like, if if you only have one way to play mage, that's a stupid way to play mage. Like, if the only way to play mage is be a spellcaster because all the spells are buffed, then that'd be cool. But it's super hard to find wands already. So, like, see, like, there he just drops. But, like, uh, maybe if it's, like, over two, he jumps. Oh, wow, what was that? He, like, had a com freaking destruction thing. Oh, good. Oh, good. Come on over here. Come on over here. Okay. And you're gonna die. Because I said so. And there's Worm Boss spawning like he normally does. In the middle of nowhere. Unable to be hurt. Ah, uh, I forgot how dumb this was this night. Oh look. Oh look at how long this is gonna take. That was so dumb. There was no way for me to escape that. What? This boss is so broken. Is there a way to do you know what would be cool? Is if the if the worm boss had like a set amount of health, right? And the set amount of health that he had was based on how many worms were on the level, right? And, uh, in order to kill Worm Boss, you needed to not only, uh, he would have, like, way too much health, right? He still, he does. He has way too much health. Like, for what he does, he has way too much health. And look, now he's in an unhittable spot because I moved in an odd position. And now he's taking twice as long... go it would be cool if if the worms that worm boss has would be part like 10 health it would be 10 of his health and when, if you kill all the worms on the level he only has like 50 health and he's he takes like maybe once or twice to come out to kill and then that would make his thing a little bit 
easier because then all you had to do is get into an open area and then he would have to come out and you would have to hit him. Um, but the way it is now, I thought, I thought this was, I thought, I thought it was in a wall or whatever, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but the way it is now, he just pops out with an insane amount of health, with almost way too much health, uh, and he comes out in places that are pretty much unhittable, and even if you get into an open area, you still have to wait for him to come out like eight times before he loses all the health that he needs to lose. That gives me a strength, so I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, this gives me death protection, so getting rid of that is not a viable thing. Scroll of Identify is a viable thing, though. Uh, this gives you luck. Okay. Go ahead and eat that. Come on. Okay. I guess he's going down there. Okay. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm no game developer. I don't know what how Worm Boss is programmed or how he would work under that circumstance. We don't have any gloves yet, so equipping these is not bad, and it's definitely not bad. Evidently, he added like a subtle animation to show that you're gonna wall phase, but I don't, I, I, I don't see it at all. We have boots that do really well for us. This, unfortunately, lightning is a terrible resistance to have. Uh, but I don't know, maybe the fourth world has an area. I don't know. Alright, so here's our last holy level, which gives us holy shield, which gives us the ability to maybe defeat a boss. Maybe. We have not found a good weapon yet, which means we cannot do anywhere, or 20 damage anywhere. What's our stat like? I think, uh, from now that we have our holy stat maxed, we start going after, like, an actual stat, because... Uh, leveling up actual stats is barely viable, but I feel like uh, leveling up Okay, you gonna kill chicken you jerk Okay, um, so I feel like uh, leveling up a level one stat What do you have for me? Lifesteal constitution speed for less range. It says homing arrows, something that I'm interested in, but I'm not that interested in it. There we go. So we should be looking for, on this floor, a wall. I need to get up here before he notices me. Right. Like, I need him to circle around again. Circle around. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. I have no interest in killing him. Nor do I have interest in killing any one of them. I have a wood ring, which is new to me. Luminous. I've never seen that before, and I've played this game a million times. So that must be new. It's luminous and it gives me strength and poison resist. Minus one vitality though, that's okay. It's the vitality that the fairy gave us. Uh, we might consider unequipping that if we lose uh, life, which I can't see us doing. Okay, we're gonna have to run past this. Okay. There's a vine down there. I'd rather face Golem. Since we're holy, we have no falling damage, which is perfect. Perfect. All right, so I have a theory. I'm gonna try it out. I want to get his head stuck. Wow, 22 damage with the crit. Get it stuck over here. Oh wow! How much health does this base thing have? That's boss. I do not want to trigger boss right now. There we go. 
Okay. I do not want to trigger Spriggan Boss. One. Uh, because I don't know if I can defeat him. And two. I don't want an early death. So we're gonna have to come around. They get. They make us go around. So we're gonna have to go around and trigger him this way. Wow, really? Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him please. There we go. That was less health than I expected to lose. That was extreme com concentration. Um, but it happened. I defeated him. I gained the level. Which means that we're going to go ahead and uh, level up strength. Uh, we need Wisp to come over here. Thank you. Oh, okay. Or we'll just take damage from him. That's cool too. You want to come over here, Spriggan? Thank you. And we get access to this chest, which gives us Demon Mask. Uh, which gives us slowing aura, dexterity, luck. And we do not have a mask yet, so uh, this will be cool for us. Uh, do we have any identify scrolls? No, it's probably a scroll of jump there. Uh, I'm going to activate magic mapping in search of... In search of pork chops. I wonder if um, invulnerability works with darkness. I wonder if I would have saved one of my invincibilities if it would have changed the darkness um, to an area. It does not look like there are any secret areas, as far as I can tell, on the map. I don't know if the map actually does signify secret areas, actually, now that I think about it. Or whatever. So I think what we do is we upgrade strength. Right? Because we need it. We need it for a lot of things. We need it for taking down boss monsters. Uh, we need it for... Um, I'm going to get rid of Book of Blink because I have wall phasing right now. I'm going to get rid of Electance because it gives a little bit more health that we wouldn't have had before. Get rid of that scroll because it might be scroll of jump and we already know the two most important scrolls or three actually we know magic mapping identify and uncurse which are the three best scrolls in the game so there's no reason to do to do anything else um one of these is regen we don't know which one which scares me a little bit just a tiny bit it doesn't scare me a bunch but it scares me a little bit So that's 26 damage. It's a decent amount of damage. I want to get rid of this guy really bad. It's been a while since I've actually fought one of these guys. This is invisible wall. What are you doing, dude? We have Book of Lightning. Okay, he's dead. You're dead. And Spider's dead. Boom. We're just a murdering machine. So what did we get? What was that book? Book of Lightning. If I remember correctly, Book of Lightning is garbage. It's the Wand of Lightning that's really good. So we have a decent amount of damage. We just did 15 damage there. Uh, that's decent for the forest, honestly. Uh, and it looks like Golem Boss is our combatant. We ever uncurse this? No. We just have it on. Have it equipped. Alright. So. We have no falling damage, thank goodness. We would have taken so much damage from just falling. This bitch. Get out of my life. 
Okay. Here comes Golem Boss. Golem Boss, honestly, um, not worth it. Too much health. Uh, and on the flip side, what does he give you? A key? Hey, uh, come on over. Hey, uh, come on over. Uh, killing that guy is way tougher than it seems. Are you serious with that? There we go. Come on, get up here, dude. How are you losing so many arrows? Just freaking... Thank you. Alright, let's see what's in the shop. We have a decent amount of money. Boulder protection. Ring of cell talk, which we already have. Uh, spirit emitter. Wealthy dead. They keep trying to give that to me. I don't know. We already have a good enough uh, build going on. You feel quicker? Good. It's usually... Uh, I was gonna say like I have I have a just enough health to where I would be comfortable quaffing potions okay so we know we have regen now uh, which means all the other potions can go to crap uh, this gives us a strength do we have an identify scroll we do not unfortunately this gives us death protection which we still have honestly um, that's really good what does this give us? Slow enemies plus minus one luck? That's dumb. So uh, we should have went to the smithy. I think there was a smithy on that floor, but we're not we're not gonna worry about it. So my goal on this level is not to defeat Wisp Boss, because I know Wisp Boss is the boss that we're fighting, uh, because we fought all the other bosses. Oh good. What did I get? Book of Portal. Thank you. Thank you for that game most garbage spell in the game there we go alright so we're not gonna go that way because there's obviously a giant piranha plant waiting to uh, destroy our lives but meanwhile we'll take out two at once kill those two and it uh, looks like wow we're leveled up already alright either that or we're really close we're probably just really close. So we'll just kill one more thing. Like this thing. Whisper's so weird. Like, I don't understand. It's probably just like... Uncurse. Seems we can now get rid of this bow. I don't know, plus two luck though? We'll take it. Versus what, boomerang? I believe that guy had just just spawned in a two by two square or a two by one square. Okay, well I'm leaving that behind, and then I'm just gonna book it through here. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and rest on here. This is the classic catacombs run. We're at 29 minutes. We're, do we're doing it faster than we've ever done it before. We have uh, two regen potions in case we need it and we need to stop. Um, we have a level, which means we can increase our total strength uh, if we need to. And we're going to. If we get to level 3, which I doubt we will ever... Um, we get uh, increased knockback bonus, which could be helpful, especially for the caves or these ca the catacombs. Uh, what do we need for health, and what should I burn for health? Uh, we don't need Book of Lightning; it's pretty much garbage for us. And we're gonna keep Book of Portal in our inventory just for health uh, in the long run. And we're gonna take Feather Fall uh, in case there's spikes, and uh, we're gonna be on our way, guys. Here we go. Uh, get ready for a catacombs run. Okay, so I see the boss down there. There's no reason. Uh, go 
Gonna go ahead and activate that so we can take that item. Can I take this item? Oh, I can't take items when I'm like this. There we go. Okay. Ooh, snap. Okay. Cool, cool beans, cool beans. Just run past. Okay, there's the death protection item. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. Get in there. I hate when enemies block the door like that. Okay. So our death protection item is gone, which means we can now equip this, which gives us a strength and berserk itis, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm gonna pop regen, so we are back at full health. And we're gonna equip this, uh, whatever we got. This. Yes. We get a defense, we get a vitality, we get a constitution, we get unbounded sight. Uh, that's really good. It's really good. And we have charge up extra damage by walking, which we're never gonna use. <sighs> it's time for another run. Let's go. Alright. So this is an odd predicament for me. Because I don't know where to go. Logic would dictate that I go this way, but there's no other enemies. It looks like there's a way down over to the left. So I think that's where I'm going to go. There's a chest right there, which I'm going to try to get before the hand... Okay, there's the hand. There's the witch's boots. So here comes the hand. There we go. Activate invincibility, go down. Go down. We want to keep heading down until we see the door. There's the door. Uh, invincibility to get through that zombie. We could have gotten the chest, uh, but it's not something that I really cared enough about. What did we get from that chest? Did we get anything cool? I don't know. Guys, we're going to get there. We're going to get to the fourth world. So you're going to see the fourth world, uh, hopefully, if I do this this last thing right. So I think what I do is uh, as soon as I get in there, magic map. I don't even need the regeneration or anything. Uh, this is a potion of speed, which we're going to quaff, and we're going to go much faster. Okay. Let's uh, magic map the way. like down okay I have to figure out where down is okay it's definitely to the left it's definitely to the left we're gonna wait for this nonsense to go by boom done done all right all the hands are taken care of boom activate invincibility Try and dodge everything. <gasps> no. Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. We should not... Lessons should be learned that we should not be doing that. I see the door. All the tough enemies are up here. Can you please? I do have a regen still, or a reincarnation still. I would like not to use it though. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we're on level four. Uh, this is a new area. As soon as it comes out, I love it. I. And we're just gonna quaff this right away. We put ourselves at a at the best possible um, position to get through. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we have not upgraded because we've not killed anything. Our vitality is 8 and our strength is 7. This is a good run. This is a good, 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 good run. Okay. I don't want to screw ourselves by equipping another Graves that is not good. 
Uh, and then having it be cursed. Um, Alright, so this is... I don't even need to show you. I, I, well, I'm going to show you at the beginning, just because it's fun to show you stuff. But this is, uh... This is the new area. Um, and it looks stylistically, it looks beautiful. It looks really cool. I think it needs new music. I wanted to see if I could fall on that. I want to know what pathway is climbable and what's not. And say, okay. So here's how this game works. Uh, or this area works. Uh, let me magic map the area first. So I can see it. Okay. So the way this game works is there's teleporters. Uh, these teleporters uh, show you uh, where you're... Or not, they don't show you, but they teleport you to different places. So when you stand over them, you can press down on them and you'll teleport. But it doesn't show you where. So I think the one on the right will teleport me to the one on the right. And this one will teleport me to this one right above me. No? Okay. I'll just go F myself. I don't know what this enemy is. I'll be darned, I actually have no idea. <laughs> Can you come down? You're just a pogoer? You're just gonna pogo all over the place? So it looks like you have to wait a little bit. I really don't want to go to that island. Okay, I guess I'm going to this island. Can you maybe not freeze me? There we go. I can't pick up items, but I can do this stuff. I honestly don't want to try uh, killing that guy. I really don't. I just want to kind of move on with my life. Alright, so here comes the boss. I'm pretty sure this is where the boss is going to be. Yep. I saw him just there. And this is what takes me to that area over there. It's the one I tried already. Oh, no, you don't. Alright. We're just going to go through. Yeah, we're just going to go through. We're just going to go through. I honestly want to get to the end of the game again, um, and I'm not interested in fighting any of the bosses. <laughs> this is terrible. Why would you give me this? Uh, unfortunately, I have no more regen. We're going to have to drink a weightless and a speed. Uh, we'll magic map the next area, too. Maybe we'll see another end screen. Jesus Lord. Magic map this area. Okay, so it looks like I can just fall on top of this area. That's got to be the boss. That's got to be the boss. Oh gosh, we're going to encounter him super early. Oh no. There's no way that's not the boss. He's invisible. You don't just F with invisible peeps, dude. What does this glove do? It's got to be good. Yeah. What's our stats right now? Intelligence, luck. We have, we have a decent amount of luck. Let's just see what he has to offer. What is he? No. That's dumb. That should not take place. Activated invincibility. This is a bug that we need. To, like, I know it's a new area, so he probably needs to like fix some stuff. But I, I, you can activate invincibility and just sit here. Yeah, I mean it was a good run while it lasted. Um, geez, and we got to see the fourth area a little bit. Uh, granted, it was a bad idea to fight that guy. We probably could have won if we just skipped past everything, uh, which is what we do in the catacombs anyway. 
Uh, and it might be what you have to do here, too. I was just seeing if maybe you could fight stuff. And it's looking to be that maybe you can if you get a good enough, uh, like, head start in the catacombs. Because it's less populated, right? Like, the catacombs is very populated. Um, but, yeah. Super speed. Yeah, what was I... Charge of, oh, I should have equipped this. This is really good. This is really good boots. I didn't want to take the risk of it being um, cursed, though. Uh, especially with the way that the run was going. Uh, yeah, this has been the fourth world. This has been uh, some of the changes. Uh, I didn't really show you any of the new spells or anything like that, because I don't personally know what they are myself. Um, if, you have any, if you guys have any suggestions on anything that I can do better, or things that I missed, or maybe something that I overlooked, uh, let me know in a comment. Uh, I always read... Uh, anything that you guys have to say so that's uh, very helpful to me and you as a watcher because uh, definitely don't want to see uh, me die in a bunch you want to see me succeed or at least I hope you do um, anyway uh, this has been Super Player Negative AE this is my 53rd death as a knight it's probably like my 98th as a mage too so I've played this game way too much I should do like a strategy guide or something um but yeah, this I'm surprised I got here on camera. I honestly had no no idea I was going to get there. That's crazy. Um, hope you guys are having a good rest of your day, and uh, peace out, guys.